besties. Happy Christmas Eve, otherwise known as the worst shopping day of the entire year. Day is going to be filled with extremely high prices, rude shoppers, exhausted employees. The worst drivers of the entire year are coming out of their house today. Stores are crowded. People are rude. Don't worry, besties. I'm going to give you my best Christmas Eve shopping tips right now. So Biggest tip, if you waited this far, I really think that you should consider waiting until the 26th when everything goes on sale and save yourself a lot of money. But if you're insisting on shopping today, these are my tips. So if you are new to being a parent or your kids are really young and you have not experienced this yet, you need to follow one rule. There's one important thing that you need to know. You cannot see inside of that box that toy, if you cannot see inside of it, it comes in a million pieces. And if that box is large enough that it looks like you could pull that entire thing out of the box completely assembled, it comes in three million pieces. An example, Barbie Dream House, Little Tyke's Kitchen, three million pieces. You're probably going to need reinforcements for this. So if you are a single mom, it is not that you can't build this thing but really, why would you want to? You should really wait till spring and buy that item at somebody else's yard sale with their blood and tears on it. But if you're insisting on buying that today, make your next stop Lowe's. It's time to pick up a boyfriend. You're gonna need to search the outer perimeters of Lowe's, you know, near the wood section. Those inner aisles are definitely married men who are being sent there by their wives to do projects. Things you don't buy today, batteries. Why you bought a toy that needed batteries, I do not know. These kids wake up super early in the morning. You haven't had your five cups of coffee yet. Why are you torturing yourself? The only people that buy kids toys that need batteries are grandparents and those aunties that don't have kids. Don't torture yourself. Save getting the batteries for a day that you have your patience intact. Probably won't be until they're 18. If you're shopping for somebody who is over the age of 18 and lives on their own, Think about getting them some practical gifts, a nice gift basket with some gain laundry detergent, some dryer sheets, some cleaning supplies, some toilet paper. Those are the only aisles in the entire store that have no people on them today. So that's a plus. You're not going to have to fight anybody over laundry detergent today. And that shit's expensive. In my entire adult life, I would have appreciated that on Christmas. But I repeat... I repeat, if you are a husband or you are a boyfriend, do not follow that tip. You will not survive through Christmas. Also, if you are a husband and boyfriend, those cute little Christmas gift sets that have bath and body products at the front of Walmart, those are not for you. Do not buy those. If you are over the age of 18, you should not be buying those for your significant other. That is a danger zone for you. That is a danger zone. Whatever you were going to spend, if it was $5, $10, just get it in a gift card. We know how much that shit costs anyway. We know it goes on clearance after Christmas. We know it's not anything we really want or we would have bought it already. And we also know you didn't put a lot of thought into it. You went to the front of the store, you grabbed something, and you left. Oh, and if you picked up one of those guys from Lowe's, don't forget to return him after Christmas. Maybe take his number down in case you need him at Valentine's Day. I think laundry detergent, by the way, is a really good gift. <laughs> good gas gift card. Give somebody some extra money to go towards their electricity bill because you know that shit is expensive. And may you all make it through today safely, happily, and with your families. Be blessed.